story time, friends. I'm looking at an interesting book about a mammal that has a long black and white striped tail. This unique animal lives on the island of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. So the title of our first book is My Tail is Long and Striped. What am I? It's written by Joyce Markovics. And I want to thank the Bearport Publishing Company for letting me share this book. What am I? Look at my eyes. They are large and yellow. My ears are white and fuzzy. I have a round black nose. My fur is thick. It is gray and white. Oh my, I have five fingers on each hand. One, two, three, four, five. My teeth are sharp and white. I have a long striped tail. The stripes are black and white, black and white, black and white. What am I? Let's find out. I am a ring-tailed lemur. Have you ever seen a lemur before? Well, let's sing a song about a lemur with a lemur. Have you ever seen a lemur, a lemur, a lemur? Have you ever seen a lemur with a black and white tail? Their tails can be longer than their bodies. Have you ever seen a lemur, a lemur, a lemur? Have you ever seen a lemur that leaps in the air? Their strong legs let them leap in the air. Have you ever seen a lemur, a lemur, a lemur? Have you ever seen a lemur eat fruit and leaves? That's what they like to eat. Well, our little lemur picked our second book. And the title is Baby Lemur. It's written by Susan Hellard. And I would like to thank the Henry Holt and Company for letting me share this book. So let's look at the cover. Did you find the baby lemur? There it is on the mother's back. Let's find out more about the baby lemur. When Liam was a baby, he was very tiny. He cuddled his mother all day and all night. Liam, Liam and his mother lived at the very top of a tree. When Liam was a bit bigger, his mother put him on her back. Hold on to my back, little one, she said. You'll be safe there. Liam's mother moved carefully through the trees. At first, Liam was terrified by the huge, scary jungle. As Liam got bigger, he became braver. He and his mother soared from branch to branch. They jumped over trees. They swung down from vines. The whole time, Liam shouted, faster, faster, higher, higher. One day, Liam's mother said to him, you're not a baby anymore. Why don't you try things for yourself, just like the other lemurs? The other little lemurs were playing games like hunt the berry. Liam wouldn't join in. He didn't want to leave his mother. He clung to her back and he wouldn't let go. You see, there they are, up in the tree. But 
Liam's mother was firm, and she knew that it was time for Liam to grow up. So she took him off her back. Ooh, Liam didn't like this one bit. He sat down and howled. But his mother didn't take any notice. Finally, Liam started to feel bored. He could see the other little lemurs leaping, playing, and running. Suddenly, Liam said to himself, I want to do those things too. And he reached out and swung. And swung and swung and swung. What fun! He soared over trees. He swung down from vines. He leaped from branches. And one day, he even did a double somersault. Before long, he was doing the same things as all the other little lemurs. And soon he forgot about being scared. And he even climbed to the very top of a tree. And every night, when the sun went down and the moon rose, he climbed up to his mother and she cuddled him in her warm fur and said, whatever you do, wherever you go, I will always be there for you to come back to. The baby lemur grew up and he learned to be a leaping lemur. So, if you would like to learn more about lemurs, stop by the library and pick up an activity packet. Bye-bye, storytime friends.